SeatGeek. For all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code. Hey, hey, everybody. I'm your host, Grant. I got to Austin on the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your paws up. If you rock with the Big Cat today, we're going to talk about Will Greer. Why he won't start for the rest of the season, we'll talk about it. But first, one quick before we get started, do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes? No? Maybe? Do you not get up on that? Even when we're catching the L's, even when we're on a five-game losing streak, do you not get up on that? Come on, like, go crazy, go crazy, go crazy. Damn! Let me tell you why Will Grin won't be starting the rest of the year and how it might affect us. Let's get into it. That boy's good. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Now, let me tell you why Will Grin won't start the rest of the year. Now, I seriously doubt that he's not going to play at all. I think at the very last game, they'll probably put him in. Maybe second half, some shit like that. But as far as starting, I don't think he will. And if he does, like I said, it's probably going to be that last game. Now, I got, a, I got a big problem with this, okay? Because my main issue with Ron Rivera was not developing talent. And you see how that panned out when our starters went down and we had to bring in five, six free agents at the punt return and kick return, defensive tackle spot, wide receiver spot. If you got guys develop, you don't have to sit here and comb through waiver wires, okay? Now, my main issue is with, and I hate to do this, David Tepper, it's with you. I love you, G. I love every move you made so far. You're a general. I love everything you did, but you made a big mistake. Your big mistake was allowing dead dogs to believe they can live. Yeah. Yeah, and what I mean by that is Perry Field and my man Turner at, at the quarterback's coach or not offensive coordinator, you gave those guys hope as if they're going to be retained. <laughs> nice guy, but sometimes you need to put the fork in them. Put the fork in them let these guys know that Hey, you ain't got a shot in hell to be retained. Now, because of that, because you gave these guys a false sense of hope, now they're playing to win. They're playing, with, 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 and listen, we've seen what Kyle Allen can do. We've seen his highs, we've seen his low, and I got nothing bad to say about Kyle Allen. Matter of fact, kudos go to you, my brother. You did the best you could this year, okay? Uh, like I said, you're pretty much a rookie. Uh, I'm one year starter or whatever, but you did the best you can, and, and I think you're going to make some serious strides in the future. Now, because he failed to tell these guys that they're not going to be retained, now they're going to keep Kyle out in there to try to put on a good show. Yeah, they're going to try to actually put on a good show to show not only David Tepper, but if they do get released, other teams that they can coach off as a coordinator head coach, right? In turns, what happens is you stunt a young man's growth. We ain't got nothing to play for. Why, why, why even put these guys in the position to believe in that they're going to be retained? Now Will Greer, a guy who we took with the third round pick. That's pretty high. That's a high round pick for him to be sitting on the bench with nothing to lose. Put the guy in at the last four games and let's see can he sink or swim. If this guy sat on the bench all damn year long and didn't learn nothing, then we need to release him. It's time like, like Steve Smith says, shout out to Steve Smith. He says, time to take the floaties off. Yeah, you see what he said about Dante Jackson? When them floaties got lost, you're looking crazy. Take the floaties off of Will Greer, and let's see what he got. Either he's going to sink or he's going to swim. But to sit back and coddle and, and coax a, 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 a team that's pretty much, they've been checked out. The team has been checked out. Not only a team has been checked out, now you're going to coddle and coach a, a coaching staff who honestly believes they have a chance to be retained and honestly really don't, you know, I hate to be disrespectful, really don't bring much to the table. Maybe a defense coordinator uh, out of Perry Field and, and, and Scott Scott Turner, he's going to be at best a, a good quarterback's coach. But to give these guys a false sense of hope to make these guys believe is hurting us. It is hurting us. You got a guy with a third round pick, put him in there these next four games, see can he sink or swim. We need to know these kind of things. All right, let him go in and learn. The best way to teach somebody is experience. You can look at playbooks, you can look at diagrams, you can look at uh, 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 you can look at all that stuff. But the best way to teach somebody is experience. And David Temper, I, I love you, G. I love you. Everything you have done up to so far has rubbed me the right way. Except this right here. You put put the damn fork in these guys. Let them know that you ain't got a shot in hell to be retained because I need to see what we got 
You got $2.3 billion on the table or whatever it may be when it comes to purchasing a team. You need to see what's the asset and what and what and what's the liability. Put the guy out there. Okay? And no shot, no disrespect to uh, Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen has held it dying. He has held it all the way dying. And we know what we got on him. He's going to be all right. But it's time to let the young bucks live. And that goes for every position on that field. Every position on that field. If we got young guys sitting up here eating up fucking cap space, I want to know what they bring to the table. Stop the malarkey. Stop the BS. Let's not kid ourselves. Fuck feelings. They got band-aids for it. They don't make band-aids for feelings. It's time to see who's real and who's not. It's who's weak, who's strong. Who's productive, who's not. But right here, you're stunning young man's growth. So now we're going to rely on another preseason showing to hopefully see what he has. And you don't, you know, and when it comes to preseason, people don't show you uh, much on defense. Let's, let him go up against a Seattle team that has uh, playoff aspirations. An uh, Indianapolis Colt team that had playoff aspirations. New Orleans Saints. Yada, yada, yada. We need to see. We need to see. I'm disappointed in this move. Y'all killing me with this Last but not least, David Tepper, if you ask me how I'll go about the situation, I would have went about it like this. I would have brought in an independent advisor, okay? When, we, when I fired Ron Rivera, I would have brought in somebody I trust that knows the football world very well, somebody close to the field. And I would say, look, I want you to go over each and every player of our roster. I want you to go over each and every uh, 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 situation for us, us winning, losing, all the analytics that you want to do. And see, based off of that, what do we need to do to get this team back winning? I would have had somebody say, is it best for us to put Will Greer in so he can get experience? Okay? The fact that you're, you're telling them if they win or lose, that determines whether they stay. That hurts us. That hurts us. If you come out and say, look, man, I want to see what such a... Show me. Show me what these guys got. Coach these guys up. And show, based off of what you do, far as who you put in what position, I'm going to keep your ass. I'm not worried about a record. You told them based off of a record or success of a record that <laughs> you're going to keep your job. Fuck that. There's no solid, There's no value in that. There's value in developing your backup quarterback. There's value in developing backup corners and defensive line, offensive line. There's value in that. So if anything, I would have came out and said, look, based off of how X, Y, and Z plays or how well he looks on the field, whether we lose or win, based off how he looks, that's what's going to remain your job. You went about it the wrong way, David Tepper, and I love you, and I hate to bring down on you, but this is how I would have did. I would have brought an independent advisor like, <clears throat> like the big cat, and we would have went over the roster with you. <laughs> we would have went over each piece of that roster. We would have looked at game feeling until the sun came up. You know what I mean? Seeing who needs to develop, what needs to develop, who, fuck the score, fuck the record. It doesn't mean nothing. But hey, what do I know, hmm? So yeah, I'm a little disappointed that Will Grill won't see the field, unless it's the last game of the season. Um, people are playing for their jobs based off win losses. Um, sad thing, man. Again, as a Panthers fan, this is why I get disappointed and frustrated with this organization, the way they go about this thing. So, I don't know, man. Get in the comment section. Am I tripping, man, or am I hitting the nail on the head? I want to hear from you guys, man. I'm not saying I'm always right, but I want to hear from you guys. I'm your host, I'm going to got the awesome one the big cat. My cool guy with the balls up. You rock with the big cat. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tune in, man. Listen to the live stream podcast on Google FM, Anchor FM, Spotify, and the whole nine. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Keep pounding underscore TV. I am your guy. Let's get up out of here. Let the church say that. Don't forget to subscribe to the Carolina Panthers custom helmet giveaway video in the playlist. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away free a $300 retail value Marvel's Avenger Carolina Panthers helmet. Keep pounding.